folks, it's time for margaritas. Looks like we're about to make a fantastic margarita. So why don't we get started? First, let's make sure we get our hands washed. First we gotta do is figure out what kind of tequila we're gonna use. You know, you can find bottles of regular tequila, special tequila. We actually found this as a generous gift in the basement of our neighbors. Now for the margarita, you've gotta pour a generous, generous uh, serving of tequila. And we will, it doesn't look like this bottle's gonna fulfill this and that. Yeah. Must have been a couple margaritas already gone from this bottle. Now we'll add in some more. More tequila here. Get a little more splash in. Do about a three count on this. So one, two, three on a full pour, as long as you've got a full bottle. That's where you want to be on this for the perfect margarita. Next is we need some kind of orange. So you can take Grand Marnier, you can take Cointreau, I call it coin toss, but I like the Kuiper Triple Sec. The Kuiper Triple Sec happens to be one of my favorites. You do about a two count, one and a half to two count pour. Play it by ear, you can measure it out. It's all in a batch, doesn't really matter. All right, next thing. You could use a little splash of agave if you'd like. I like to put maybe just a little touch, just a drop or two. Drop that in, and now we get on to our limes. Get some nice fresh limes. We gotta make our cuts, so what we wanna do is cut them half because everything about the margarita is gonna be all about the fresh limes. Without fresh limes, you're not gonna have a good margarita. We squeeze right in. And fantastic. Don't discard those limes, we're not done with them yet. They have multiple uses. We try to get everything out of all the resources that we have. We don't want to be throwing anything away, especially in these times. These limes cost like a five bucks each. We have seen them in the store with price, price gouging and everything. Okay, now that we're done with our lime, we need to move on to our glass. Make sure you have ice in here because obviously you want to have a nice chilled margarita. Now we're going to take those limes and we're going to rim the glass. And then comes the fun part. Okay, now, once we have rimmed the glass, we're gonna need to get some salt on the rim. For you fanatics out there, I like to put a little chili powder in my salt. Give it a little twist. Okay. Once we have that done, you can use any plate, any size. Just take your glass and spin it around on the edge. And if you don't have enough lemon juice on the edge to get your salted rim, you can always add a little bit more. We're gonna put a little more on this side right here. Squeeze a little more in and get a little extra rim on that one there. And there you have beautiful salted rim. Now, we are just about ready to get the shaking started. Make sure you have some mariachi music on in the background. Makes it a little bit more authentic. Cap up, fresh lime, tequila, triple sec, and a little agave. We don't need no stinking sour mix. This isn't about sour mix. This is all about fresh ingredients and alcohol. Okay, and that ought to do it. Can we do a quick sample right here. Check out our margarita. Oh my God. That is fantastic, folks. This is a fantastic margarita. I may have enough batch for me. I'll practice another batch later. But folks, happy early single and quattro de mayo. We're about three weeks away. I'll see you on the deck.